Charlie. Oh man, it's so good to see you. Oh, you, you're on mute. Al, you're on mute. You. Oh, okay. if I if I talk louder, can you signal's hear me now? gone now. I, no. Come on, what are you doing back at the race course this year? Welcome to day one of the Innovation Festival! Festival season is well underway, but get gone, Glasto, and down with Download. It is all about the Innovation Festival 2022 here at Newcastle Racecourse. I'm expecting all of the whiteboards to be plastered with millions of post-it tickets, with the nuggets of ideas. And it's an opportunity for people to feel comfortable and to be stimulated and to be inspired by things that they would never normally see. Express yourself. Welcome yourselves back. Come on! Yay! <laughs> but there is a very serious purpose to what we do this week. We all know that there are big challenges that we face. Some of them are to do with big, if you like, global issues like climate change. Other things are, are perhaps feeling a little bit more close to home, like affordability, the cost of living. Um, all of these things are, are all being touched on. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise the roof for Sarah Davis. And it wasn't until I walked in here this morning that the penny dropped and you see all the different people and how excited they are to bring in a whole industry together like this is something I've never experienced in any industry anywhere in the world. Our ability of, for nature to regenerate and for us to give it a chance to, to basically regenerate our planet, our soil health is phenomenal and even you know we've got a great sprint here this week that's very much focused on that so it's an old chinese proverb when the winds of change blow some build walls others build windmills and i hope you all get to build your windmills today and the fact that you know people are collaborating coming together that is absolutely the essence of of what is going on in this room and uh, across the festival in this week so you know that's how you get these great ideas I'm leading the sprint for the first time, but also attending the uh, Innovation Festival for the first time as well. And I'm blown away by it. It's really excited to be given the opportunity to represent the NHS here today to look at our challenge, which is around sustainability and how we can apply innovative solutions to our sustainability challenge. We're here to help share some of our skills as fixers and to help them basically learn to use tools, a lot of the tools we've got. Well, it's just been lovely to be here after the last years of Covid, obviously all this was done virtually and it's just not the same. And you can spark off of people, you get brilliant new ideas, brilliant new thinking coming through. I don't think you do that unless you are physically face to face with people. Bring the Wipe is an idea that we came up with um, a couple of years ago at the last Innovation Festival, whereas it's a way for us to combat the, the number of wipes in our systems that cause blockages. Um, it's a way that we now track them back to individual customers, have that conversation with the customers and ask them to stop. So we've managed to track down Nigel, the father of the festival. So tell us a bit about what we're seeing here on day one. Yeah, I think day one is what you're seeing is connection, right? So we've brought together people with diverse skills and, and experiences deliberately to try and tackle problems with different perspectives. What do you think it is about the festival environment that makes it the perfect place for people to innovate, for people to get those ideas out there? So I think what we, what we learn about people is that when they're relaxed, when they're comfortable, when they're happy, when they are networking and building relationships, this is typically when we're at our most creative. Well, here we are, we're at the end of day one and we've already seen some exciting and brilliant ideas. Get rested and get ready for day two.